In this lesson, you will learn how to convert linear equations from point slope form to slope intercept form. Let's quickly review these two forms of linear equations. In point slope form, m represents the slope and x1, y1 represents a point on the line. In slope intercept form, m still represents the slope while b represents the y intercept. Now, let's go through our examples to see how to make this conversion. The first step is to distribute the slope to each term inside the parentheses. So in this example, distribute the 2. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 3 gives us 6. Remember, in slope-intercept form, y should be by itself. So, our next step is to isolate y. To do this, add 5 to both sides of the equation. On the left side, these cancel, leaving y by itself. On the right side, 6 plus 5 is 11. That's it, this is the equation in slope-intercept form, with a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of 11. Notice that the slope is the same in both forms. Now let's move on to the second example with a negative slope. Feel free to pause the video and give it a try. First, distribute the slope. Negative 6 times negative 1 is 6, right? Then, isolate y by subtracting 4 from both sides. On the left, these cancel, leaving y by itself. On the right, 6 minus 4 is 2. This is your equation in slope-intercept form with a slope of negative 6 and a y-intercept of 2. To convert from point slope form to standard form, check the link in the description. But first, let's work on a couple of examples that involve fractions. As always, start by distributing the slope. Negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5, and 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, right? Then, isolate y by adding 7 to both sides. Negative 15 plus 7 is negative 8, right? We now have the equation in slope-intercept form, with a slope of 3 halves and a y-intercept of negative 8. Our final example involves subtracting fractions, but I will also show you a method to avoid dealing with fractions. Stay with me. First, distribute the slope. You can reduce 2 and 8 by dividing each by 2, which leaves you with negative 5 fourths. Then, isolate y by subtracting 1 from both sides. On the left, these cancel, leaving y. On the right, you need to subtract 1 from negative 5 fourths. First, write 1 as a fraction, which is 1 over 1, right? Then, multiply it by 4 over 4 to get a common denominator. Now, subtract the numerators. This gives us negative 9 fourths, right? Now we have the equation in slope-intercept form, with a slope of negative 5 eighths and a y-intercept of negative 9 fourths. If you want to avoid adding and subtracting fractions, here, instead of subtracting 1, you can eliminate the fractions first. To do this, multiply both sides of the equation by the least common multiple of the denominators. The least common multiple of 8 and 4 is 8, right? So, multiply both sides by 8. 8 times negative 5 8 x becomes negative 5 x as the 8s cancel. 8 divided by 4 is 2 and 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, right? Next, subtract 8 from both sides to isolate the y term. Negative 10 minus 8 is negative 18, right? Finally, divide both sides by 8 to isolate y. Remember to divide each term. These cancel, leaving y. Dividing both negative 18 and 8 by 2 gives us negative 9 over 4, right? Remember to always simplify fractions as you go. This matches what we found earlier. If you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments. For more lessons on linear equations, check the links in the description. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.